Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Queen Sugar. So today I have a pick a card reading that looks into what love messages your person has for you at this time. And also too, we're gonna get a little bit of insight on just a connection and see if there's anything spirit has to say in regards to this person, this connection, and if there's any type of advice as well. So you'll get some love messages and you'll also get some Oracle cards as well. So take a moment to kind of relax, clear your energy, clear your mind and take a deep breath in and then take a deep breath out and allow the energy of this person to guide you to the pile or piles that best represent the messages that they have for you at this time pile number one is the very soon card pile number two is the it's a vibe card pile number three is the patience card and then pile number four is the warm embrace card once you've selected your pile or piles feel free to click the timestamp below to watch your portion of the video i hope you all enjoy and that the message resonates hey pile number one this will be for those that selected the lovely very soon card and this card says, be clear about what you want because within a blink of an eye, it will be yours. So that can give you a little heads up on timing for this connection with this person, especially if you've been wondering when are you going to see progress, when you will hear from them, this, that, and the third. So we're going to go through your love messages and then we're going to also see the other oracle cards that we have here that might give us a little insight on you know tips or guidance that spirit has for you when it comes to this connection so your first love message is and this is from my love notes deck edition number two Alrighty. so your first card is you are right i should have listened to you so there may have been something that you share with this person in the past that you were trying to give them a heads up on or just being upfront about something and they didn't want to hear it or they were just kind of in denial or you know it just kind of like sat in the back of their mind but now they're realizing that you were right and let's say this is a brand new person you never interacted with each other before there is this feeling that you have picked up on something about you all and you know you know it's for certain you know it's right and then this person when they experience you or your energy they're going to realize they're like okay this is a thing this is like confirmation type of vibe all right next we have here is let's take this to the next level so regardless if you know the person or not this person will definitely be in a space of wanting to pursue you wanting to move things to the next level whether that be entering a relationship or actually starting dating date each other or moving in together or you know getting married so whatever you are in the phase of this connection the next level is what they want and next we have here is what do you want from this love so they would like to know in like a little insight of like what exactly are you looking forward to when it comes to a relationship when it comes to marriage when it comes to a companionship partnership what do you want from it because they want to make sure that they are fulfilling your needs and also they want to communicate to you what they are looking forward to when it comes to relationship and like you know seeing if you all meet expectations but also to if you're on the same page next we have is i thought of you so if you've been wondering if you've been on their mind if, if they think about you it's very clear that they do think of you all right next we have here is tell me what you want from me so this person is very action-based there's um your love language might be acts of service and so they want you to communicate what do you need from me what do you want from this love how do you want me to show up for you how do you need me to show up for you because they want to make sure that they're doing their part and there's never a moment where it's like well you didn't do this and you know this is what caused us to break up or this is what caused us to stop communicating and stop being together like they want to make it very clear of what your expectations are of them and vice versa we have i've made mistakes and i apologize for that so for those of you that already know the person they want to apologize for something that maybe they didn't do in the past and i see like my voice is trying to give out a little bit so maybe this person didn't communicate something and they kept it to themselves right <clears throat> excuse me 
And so now they're in a space where they want to apologize and just say like, hey, I really do want to, you know, take accountability and let you know that that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to say. I should have did this. I should have did that type of vibe. And like, if you don't know this person, maybe they're apologizing for something um, that they have done in the past that may have delayed this connection, that have delayed this this opportunity for you all to connect, if that makes sense, right? So when we are not in alignment with what we want, we experience delays. And so they could be apologizing for that. Next, we have just tell me how you feel. So once again, this person literally wants you to communicate everything that you need in what you feel because they want to make sure they're showing up. And also, too, this could be an energy for some of you that haven't talked to this person in a while. You just want to know how they feel and what's on their mind and, and what they want from this connection. We have, do you trust me? And so this person would like to know, can you be in this space where you can trust them wholeheartedly? You give them your heart and trust and know that they won't hurt you. We have everything you touch turns to go. You are pure magic. And then your last one is, I hope to take the weight off your shoulders one day. So this person never wants to feel like they are a burden or like, you know, they don't want you to feel overwhelmed and stressed out about things in life. Like they want to be someone that you can come to and talk to whenever life, you feel like life is beating you up or, um, there's some challenges in the way so that's what I get from that energy now let's look into the other oracle cards here and see what other information we can get about this connection all right so we have number four falling in love suppressed emotions number five and then oh wow they can be trusted number 12 and where was that question do you trust me? So that's very interesting how we get this question and then we get an answer. Do you trust me? And then they can be trusted. So that just, that's confirmation number one, that this person can be trusted and that, you know, they can trust you. So that's just beautiful. I feel like with this falling in love card, it just shows us like, you know, they're ready to take things to the next level. They're ready to just tell you how they really feel about you and not hide back, not hide it anymore, not suppress the emotions. And so maybe you are saying this to this person, just tell me how you feel. Like, what do you feel? I know that there is something real here. I know that, you know, I'm not the only one feeling this and it's time for them to stop suppressing their emotions and just be honest and share and communicate what they're feeling and what they're thinking when it comes to this disconnection with to these feelings that they have for you so um i also see here with the fall in love card the number four so that reminds me of the four of wands card so some of you might actually end up marrying this person that you're you know thinking of you know this is not for everybody but that message will resonate for those that are you know call to it so now i'm going to get additional love messages from my sparkles of love deck and see what else this person wants to say to you. say to you at this time a card fell on the floor let me see if i can grab it without knocking stuff over okay we have i can still feel your energy surrounding me so if you haven't been in communication with this person they still feel you you might still feel their energy lingering around so it's like this is something that just it will never energetically it will never go away unless you truly 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 don't want any part of it but even then i feel like there will be some type of um memory that pops up or some type of sign that pops up from this person let's see what else they want to say it says we should finally talk about everything and clear the air so we can move forward. So this person wants to take things to the next level and they're ready to talk. They're ready to get everything out in the, in the open and just be very clear about what it is that, you know, both of you want from this connection and as well, um, what issues do you want to resolve and what are the solutions to that? We have, it seems that I always let my fear of love take over. So that might go into this suppressed emotions part and maybe even the, I apologize, I made 
mistakes because they let fear get in the way and that could have been what caused a disconnection or if you know brand new person moving forward this is the energy of like them choosing to not let fear take over because they've done that in the past and they found out that it didn't work so now they're in a space where like i'm not doing that anymore i'm not letting fear get in the way all right next we have oh another apology i want to apologize to you so a lot of you that picked this pile this seems to be someone of your past this seems to be someone you know that's currently in your life or trying to get back into your life you know you can have this pile come from like a new person but a lot of this energy is like return love um, for the most part and this person is wanting to reconcile so I hope that this message resonated for those that pick this pile and it's clear that this person you know wants to reconcile they want to reconnect and with the very soon card being here this shows us that it's definitely in the cards um, soon for a lot of you so just be mindful of that and prepare for it okay alrighty I hope you all enjoyed this message thank you so much for tuning in once again and feel free to check out other videos on my channel comment and like the video and I will see you all soon bye hey pal number two this will be for those that selected the it's a vibe card this is one of my favorite cards of the deck and this card says, enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like no other. So this is letting you know the person you're thinking of. It's always a genuine vibe. You know, you wouldn't have to question um, like the chemistry and just the, how do I write it? Like the, the energy just of the connection overall. All right. So we're going to go through your love messages here. We have some oracle cards here too to give us a little insight on additional messages from this person and like the connection if there's any advice and then at the very end i'm going to get additional love messages from my sparkles of love deck so let's start off with the taste of honey by um, divine pearls medium all right so your first card is take care of your heart mind and body i want you to feel your best so it seems like with this card, this person, they want you to prioritize your mental health, your physical health, right? And they want to make sure you're feeling good. Like even if you didn't talk to this person, you know, for a while or haven't heard from them in a while, they still want you to always be in good energy, good spirits. They never want you to feel sick or feel uneasy about things in life. And they genuinely wish you you the best especially when it comes to your health maybe some of you deal with health issues or have dealt with health health issues and you know whether that's mental emotional physical they they genuinely care and hoping that you're taking care of yourself next we have is i may not always have the right words but i always look at you with loving eyes so there might be moments where this person doesn't say much or they don't say anything at all or they might not say what you really want them to say in that moment, but they genuinely love and, and care about you, right? Sometimes people, you know, have experiences where they didn't know, they never experienced like someone showing affection, someone saying affirming words to them. And so it's new to them and it might not come easy, it might not come natural. And it doesn't mean that just because you didn't experience something that you can't learn how to do it or you just do it on your own. It's just saying that sometimes when we are not exposed to something, it literally is like learning how to walk, learning how to crawl, right? It takes time and it takes practice and reflection too. So I feel like this person is realizing that, okay, I need to learn how to better communicate certain things that genuinely match what I feel and what I think. All right, next we have is, I know that there's something special about you. So this person already knows like how genuine you are, how beautiful you are, how unique you are. And it's not like they, they don't know that, right? And maybe that's one of the hardships that they battle with at times is, um, how do I show that I really care, that I really love everything about them? even though I don't know how to do that per se. And some people just are like, just say it to the person, but it's just like, if it becomes, if it feels unnatural and uneasy, 
and triggering sometimes, it's not as easy as we think it can be. All right, we have, you are my sweetheart. That's just pretty much straightforward. They think you are someone special, someone sweet. Oh, wow. I will always protect you, sweetheart. So this might be their pet name for you. This might be their little nickname for you, sweetheart. Even if they don't call you sweetheart in person, it doesn't mean that they don't naturally just kind of say it, you know, when they're thinking about you. They could be talking to you spiritually and they say sweetheart or whatever. They might make that your name in their phone. But there's there's an energy where, like, sweetheart is definitely symbolic and a special nickname that they want to give you if they haven't officially said it before all right next we have is i apologize for the times my words stung you so if there ever has been a moment where they didn't say um something that was like how do i word it like they weren't very sensitive they didn't read the room very well and so it just came across kind of abrupt or rough they really apologize for how it came off because they never want you to feel like they don't care or that you know they're trying to be mean or say something intentionally to hurt your feelings and sometimes too you know how you can be upset about something and got like a rough day and then you kind of lash out at people but you don't you truly don't want to do that but it's just like because you went up you dealt with so much it's like oh the first punching bag that I see that's when I'm going to take it out on it's like no I really didn't mean to do it that way we have let's grow together so this person genuinely wants to build something with you grow something with you establish something with you whether it be a family a business um, a home there's there's so much potential here we have thank you for helping me find my voice so maybe you were this person that shine a light on hey you got to watch how you talk to me you got to watch how you say things to people because you can hurt people's feelings you can ruin a lot of chances for yourself by how you are communicating so you could have been that light that showed them like hey you need to reflect on things before you speak you need to take a second to breathe or to process before you just start blurting out words because when you do that x y and z happens and that's not a good look for you like you kept it real with them and you know you're being honest and straightforward with them and it's saying like it's not saying like oh they need to sugarcoat things it's just like it's all about your delivery it's all about your approach next we have is tell me your love language let me love you the way you you want to be loved so it's important that you all have these conversations about like what are your love languages and also too knowing that some love languages um you know the, the five that people always talk about those are love languages but there can be so much more there can be a lot of other love languages that are not really often communicated but you realize that matters to you and so sharing that is very helpful and then we have, I love when you show love with physical touch. This person really appreciates when you two are connecting physically. They might have a love language of physical touch. And maybe that might not be their love language or it could be vice versa. Or both of you can have a love language of physical touch. But I get the energy that somebody in this connection struggles with physical touch sometimes. Because maybe they didn't receive a lot of um, physical touch in ways that were... Um, what's the word I'm looking for healthy and positive and reaffirming and so they kind of shift away from it so it's like really connecting with physical touch and knowing that it's a good thing and it's okay to you know have it in your life and of course if there's something that you're healing from a trauma or an experience take your time with it but know that physical touch can be healthy all right now we're going to look into your oracle cards here and see if there's any other messages spirit has that this person has for you and kind of talk through it and then we'll get some more um, cards later so we have intimacy issue intimacy issues number six so there could be moments oh maybe here we go so we have i love when you show physical touch and then intimacy intimacy issues so maybe there's energy here where you all haven't been intimate with one another it doesn't feel like you're connecting like you used to um and so kind of reevaluating that physical piece and that intimacy piece and seeing in what ways can we get back to where we were or get better right and intimacy is not always about physical touch it can be about stimulating the mind it could be about a partner just needing to feel loved and safe and that's what's going to strengthen that intimacy so really getting you know connected with that we have loving partnership number 25 so this shows that there is a genuine loving connection here and this person wants a loving partnership from you and then we have number one codependency so it could be um, this energy where sometimes um we become codependent on 
interesting spirit is saying it's like codependent on the past so we're so used to the past we just we just expect it to be a certain way and we just we don't put in the work or the effort because we're like what's well, already pre predestined based on everything that's happened to me in the past so what's the purpose of me you know doing anything different versus being dependent and you know, i mean independent and knowing that okay i get to choose what happens next for me i don't have to live in that experience and that energy anymore of the past that i don't like and also to there may have been moments where maybe you were or they were codependent on something or someone in the past and it wasn't healthy and now it's like you know re-navigating that and also too there are going to be moments where you're codependent on each other in a connection and relationship and that's okay it's all about making sure it's a healthy um, codependency to where you know it's helping you grow and, and be better versus like um, deb deb debilitating you all right so now let's get some cards from the sparkles of love deck and then we'll be done with your reading so what additional messages does this person have for you at this time we have i lack accountability and it shows so this person knows when they don't show up the right way they know when they've done something wrong but with these cards here it shows us that this person is taking accountability i apologize for the times the words stun you i'm not always with the right words but i, I look at you with loving eyes i know there's something special about you so you know they're in this space of like I'm, I'm getting better with this accountability and like I said you've been calling them out on certain things and your energy and let's say this is a brand new person you know like your energy is like um you know it's strong and so now they show up better people start to show up for you differently because you have better expectations and and, and standards and so you don't tolerate a lot of bs anymore next I'll look at that we have will you marry me will you spend the rest of my life rest of your life with me once again this person clearly wants something with you they want to grow together they want to build a legacy build a family with you all right let's get a couple more we have my love for you will never end to infinity and beyond so if you ever wondered <laughs> they will love you into infinity and beyond and let's get one more that was too many one more card please Okay, so many cards want to come out. I'm going to just take these two just so um, I don't have to keep shuffling. So we have one of my love languages is words of affirmation. It means a lot to hear the words I love you or I am proud of you. So this could be a love language for both of you where, you know, hearing certain things reaffirms the connection, reaffirms you, and also too. Like how I said that somebody might have struggled with physical touch. Somebody might have also struggled with not hearing the words I love you. And um, that's new to them. So both of you are learning and growing and healing. And, you know, learning how to be better partners to each other, but also to yourself. And then we have your love feels like a warm hug for the heart. And it's funny how it's like it's a hug and it's like a physical thing. And so another thing about physical um chemistry here too and this kind of highlights how I talked about intimacy is not always physical it can literally be being there for that person you know in all other ways and that it would a nice intimacy the flame within okay so this is what I have for you all I hope this resonated thank you so much for tuning in um, I appreciate the support and love as always feel free to like the video leave a comment below and check out other videos on my channel and I'll see you all again bye Hey, pal number three, thank you so much for selecting this video and choosing pal number three. So this will be for those that selected the patience card. And this card says, why the rush? There's no need to rush divine timing. Enjoy the journey because it is worth the wait. Alrighty. So we're going to look through your love notes. And then we have some oracle cards here to kind of give us a little insight on other things this person wants to say or that spirit wants to share about this connection. And at the very end, I want to get additional love messages from my Sparkles of Love deck as well. So let's start off with the divine love messages, um, edition number three. 
So your first card here is we should talk about things and work it out. So there might be a conversation that needs to be had with this person. There might be some things that need to be cleared that just, you know, need to be unpacked and they're ready to talk about it. They're ready to clear the air. They're ready to, you know, hear your perspective on things. And, and they know it's, it's more to the story than the, just their side of the story. Right. So sometimes we might have our own perspective of things but once we hear the other person it's like oh wow I didn't know I was doing that to you or that it showed that way that's completely the opposite of what I wanted you to feel so there's some need of a conversation here next we have is you have the keys to my heart so this person wants you to know that you have their heart like you have the keys to it honestly you're the only one that has it it's like for them to not have you it feels like you're the one that got away um like even if they were to date someone else it's like their heart would just always kind of just come back to you their thoughts will always come back to you next we have is i surrender my heart to you and so with this card it gives me this energy that some of you are dealing with the person that they were so guarded that they didn't want to like let anybody in and they wanted to let you in but it was like no i've been hurt before i don't want to i don't want to do that again it's a little scary and so now they're in this space where they're like you know what i do want to surrender my heart i do want to choose love i want to be in love i want to be a part of love so i have to surrender i have to let go of the pain and genuinely just choose love and just surrender next we have is you are so radiant you shine like the brightest star so this person already knows the value in the light that you have within and they notice that you have added a lot of light to their life you have shined that light onto them for them to see the light within themselves and i feel like they want to say they really appreciate that we have i will fight for your heart so we have three cards here that say the word heart in it so heart chakra is very big here and it might be great for you to do some heart chakra clearing some healing so you can listen to some meditations connected to the heart chakra you can be intentional like placing your hands on your heart chakra and just kind of like clearing out any energy that still lingers and doing that repeatedly for you know the next 14 21 days or so i'm here in two to three weeks it's not saying like oh that's the time frame it takes for you to clear all of this stuff out but it's saying if you consistently do that work for the next two to three weeks you will start to see changes within yourself but also within your person potentially and then also to how people show up for you all right next we have is you and i are past due it's time we fix that so yeah there's a conversation that needs to be had because they're like oh my gosh like we just if we just talk things out we could work it out we could we'll be fine you know we just got to have that, that initial conversation we have your love your love is like honey so they know how sweet you are they appreciate your sweetness your kindness um you just being gentle with them being patient with them being understanding and loving so they want to share that next we have is i want to be the reason you smile i'm noticing just from your pile this is the first pile that i've done so far that the energy is coming like very rapidly it's like boom 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 there's no delays it's like i the words the channeling messages are just coming straight through and this shows me like this person is like in an eight of wands energy where they're just like i don't have time to play games anymore i need to keep it up i need to i need to share my truth i need to get this out and so that's why they keep pressing like let's have this conversation let's you know fix this because i'm tired of wasting time um and then i need to man up as i say that and so they want to be the reason you smile they don't want to bring any tears any sorrows any pain to your life they want to genuinely be one of the reasons that make you smile make you feel happier with life and they know that they need to manage they know that they need to take initiative and be accountable for certain things that they've done in the past and this is the energy that they're sitting in now and then we have i just want us to get away from the noise so there may have been some people or just energies that have been influencing the disharmony of this connection at times but also too there may have been some things that have been that that has happened that has triggered you or triggered them which caused you all to revert to old ways and old patterns and so that's why you're getting a different version of that person than what you were experiencing the first time and so it's just kind of like working through that and figuring out okay what is the trigger what can i do to resolve it how do i move past this so i can attract a better experience with this person with other people in my life so that's what we get with the love messages so now let's get into your oracle cards and see what else they got to say oh wow we have number three they will call so communication is happening with this person if you haven't heard from them in a while they're going to reach out to you they're going to connect with you at some point point. and i feel like for a small percentage of you some of you will be called by spirits who actually reach out to them which gets the ball rolling and it could be um this person like let's say um you haven't heard from them in a while and 
you decide to message them on Instagram and you reach out and y'all connect and they're like, hey, text my new number. And you're like, oh crap, I didn't know they had a new number, right? Or, you know, they try to reach out to you and you have a new number and you didn't know that until they commit to you all communicated via Instagram or TikTok, whatever. And it's like, okay, cool. Now we can get the ball rolling on this conversation. Next is number seven, discovery period. So I feel like both of you are in a space where you're learning more about yourself and you're learning about areas of growth and where you can show up better next time. You can be better to yourself, but also be better to your partner and to to others in your life that you really care about. And a lot of times when we go through these discovery periods, you know, we focus so much on like the other person, like, oh, all of these things this person did was terrible, blah, blah, blah. This is what the problem is. I did all these great things and leave it there. But sometimes we need to reflect and see, okay, how did I show up? How did I track this? What did I do? Or what have I been doing internally that has caused this to happen? And it's not always the case, but like, you know, having a moment where you do some inner work and inner reflection to make sure that you're showing up as the best way as you can and not living in fear, not living in the past. And then we have number three grows in time. So 333 could be a symbolic, um, you know, number for this connection. Um, it also connects the mind, body, and soul. And then two with the patience card, it just shows us that things are going to evolve and grow in time, but we just have to be patient and know that there's no need to rush. It's going to work out. So now let's get some additional love messages cards from the Sparkles of Love deck. I'm going to move my mic. So hopefully you can still hear me pretty well. So let's grab a few cards from here and see what else this person wants to say to you at this time. All right, so we have, oh, look at that. Thank you for being patient with me. So clearly patience is a theme that you're learning with each other. We have mentally, I'm exhausted from life right now. So maybe this is something that has caused a delay in communication. Maybe this is a reason why you all haven't been able to reconnect or talk things through. It's just because they've been mentally exhausted. And so now they're ready to talk. Oh, look at that. I want to see you again. See, this person is ready to communicate. They're ready for you all to start over, have a clean slate, and just be together, okay? So that is what I have for you all in terms of your reading. I hope you all enjoyed the message. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please thumbs up the video, leave a comment below, and check out other videos on my channel. I love you all, and I wish you all the best. Bye. Hey, pound number four, this will be for those that selected the beautiful, warm, embrace card. It says, let yourself, let yourself enjoy your partner's loving arms around your body. Their touch a nice to flame within you. So that will be your card. We're going to put this to the side. Okay. So we're going to go through your love messages here. And then I have some Oracle cards here that can give us a little insight on additional messages that we have from this person or that spirit wants to share in terms of the connection it could be in the form of an advice or just like updates and then i'll also grab some additional love messages from my sparkles of love deck as well so let's start off with the divine love notes edition one the original ones and see what we get so we have i once oh wow i want to hold you in my arms so badly in the your card is warm embrace so clearly this person misses you they want to embrace you they want to hold you and let's say you haven't physically met this person before it's like this desire to just hold you to touch you to feel you um i feel like your heart rhythm like your beats would be in sync if you were to hold each other like in that way they want to embrace you so that's beautiful that's funny that that's literally the first card and then we have, I'm in love with you and not sure how to tell you. So some people are in this space where their partner, their person hasn't really expressed fully what they feel and what they think of you. And that's okay because it seems like they're in a space of where they're trying to figure out how to communicate that with you. And also too, you know, not everybody is great with communicating how they feel, especially if they haven't dealt with that before, especially if this is a new feeling for them or just a new level of learning for them because they never experienced someone affirming them or showing love in that way. So it's like, okay, how do I do this? Am I doing so much and getting out their head and not letting fear kind of take over and control? Next we have is I miss you regardless of or regardless of how things look. So if you haven't heard from this person, they are thinking of you and 
they miss you right and they miss the the warm embrace they miss the touch they miss the the intimacy that you all share together we have i really love the way you make me feel inside you know the way that you make this person feel is like completely it's unique they have never experienced something like this before and that could be why they don't know how to say how how they feel and that they're in love with you because maybe y'all just been you know dating for a few months and it's like damn i really feel connected to this person i really you know miss them when they're when they're gone or when we don't talk and so this could take in the form of them taking a step back from the connection actually because it's overwhelming to them and they don't know how to communicate that that is overwhelming to them and what they're feeling and processing it and then you know they talk to other people or they maybe you know just get this revelation um that okay this is actually a, a good thing it's not a bad thing it's not something i should be afraid of i should embrace this and welcome it in and you know communicate it we have i'm learning to live my life better through you and so this person because of you they are learning how to just love they're learning how to just live how to be present how to be bold how to be courageous how to just choose love and be fearless and not worry about what is to come afterwards not fear and be afraid to experience love we have i want the whole world to know that i'm with you i feel like you know usually i don't channel much with this card but with this car in this moment it's deeper than like i just I, like i want to just show people i'm with you and that you're my person it's like no i want people to see the type of partner that i have spiritually mentally emotionally the life that you pour into me type of vibe that's what i get with this car in this moment and that's probably the first time i've ever like channeled this with this car so it's very significant and powerful because i feel like this person might be really going through a an awakening and it's a, it's a shift that they're feeling and that they're realizing was like yeah there's some good partners out there but it, there's a difference between being a good partner and being the right partner for me right and so they're realizing like not only are you a good partner you are the right partner you are the one we have the sound of your voice lingers in my mind and so the, just them hearing your voice makes them think like wow you know this is something I want to hear for the rest of my life. This is a person I want to be a part to have a part of my life for the rest of my life. We have, I still love you. I'm, I'm sorry if I made you feel otherwise. So this energy of like, you know, them wanting to apologize and seeking your forgiveness and, um, you know, a little bit of regret here. So, you know, you can spiritually apologize. I mean, you can spiritually accept their apology. And of course, if you do see them in person and interact with them and they apologize you can say it verbally i accept your apology but yeah please don't cry or be sad because of me so yeah this person is definitely seeking forgiveness they're seeking this energy where they are taking accountability for what they've done in the past or what they said in the past or didn't do and they don't want you to feel sad they don't want you to feel heartbroken or anything like they want to be the reason you smile they want you to feel good they want you to feel loved by them and then we have, what do you think of me? So I feel like this person also too wants you to think highly of them. And so they had to think about that themselves. Like, what do I think of my own self? Like, how do I show up for people? Is this a version of myself? I want people to say like, okay, that's the version I messed with versus like, nah, I don't want to be a part of that person's life because they're just a terrible person. Like they're really having this inner reflection work right now. Okay, so those were the love notes. So now we're going to get into your oracle cards before we get additional messages so we have oh wow forgiveness needed number 24 i literally said that this is what this person is seeking so because we have like two cards with an apology or like you know a card about saying i'm sorry but also with this please don't cry be sad because i mean it's like please don't let my actions make you feel like you're less than or you know x y and z or like there's a problem with you like no i need you to know that you're an amazing person and i'm sorry about that we have make it official number nine. So there's a desire that they want to take it to the next level, show the world that they're with you, but also to build this life with you and no longer play games. So like, if you know, if you were just dating for a while, I never made it official. It's like they're ready to make it official. And if you are in a relationship together, they want to, you know, take it to the next level, maybe engagement, moving in together. And then we have number three, let the past go. And when I see this number three in this nine, that could be a symbolic number for your connection. So like 39, 39, 393. Um, 
it shows us that there's a need to let the past go so to forgive and to let it go it's not saying that you know you give them a past and they don't have to put any work in it's like if you all decide to move forward with each other you have to let the past go you can't keep bringing it up you can't keep living in the past you have to give space for this person to be a new version of themselves and also for you to be a new version of yourself okay so now let's get some additional love messages i'm going to move my mic a little bit so hopefully you can still hear me and see what else they want to say and share with you at this time oh my gosh i dropped some cards and i randomly sh uh, channeled the word or the phrase i've cried many nights over you so this person definitely has um how do i word it um been in a space where they've just been sad and maybe you have had moments where you were wondering like do they even care have they felt this before and it's like no they have felt it all right so we have i lack accountability and accountability and it shows so this person knows when they're not doing what they need to do and now they're in a space where they want to take that accountability we have i love you i love all of you so once again like this shows you this person loves you because they're trying to say it trying to communicate it and so now they're getting in the space where they can put it to words oh wow we have another apology i want to apologize to you see this forgiveness is needed so that could be some healing work that can be done on both ends you forgiving them and them forgiving themselves or like you know vice versa however you feel fit for this connection let's get a, another card we have there are things that you do that trigger me and so you know some people might be like I, I haven't done anything wrong to this person to make them feel this way and that may be true you may have not intentionally done anything to make them feel triggered but we have to understand that sometimes something that is small to us can mean a big thing to somebody else think about think of like little kids for example when a kid is like can we go to the park and you're like no and you're telling them no because it's like hey I got a headache or I got a, you know, I got work to do and I, I don't have the time to take you to the park and for us to stay for a while. That no to that kid can mean like a thousand no's and it can break their heart in a day. But to you, it's like, because I'm doing these other things to take care of you, that's why I'm telling you no, but they don't know that, right? And so it, it hurts them more hearing the no and thinking like they did something wrong when really it's not even that case. So in this situation, there could have been things or a thing that happened that you did or that you said or didn't do or didn't say that triggered them and maybe that's um a thing that you know pushed them away because they didn't know that it was a trigger for them or in a positive sense you did everything right you're loving you're kind you're affectionate and that triggered them <laughs> right and that's why they're like i don't know how to tell you how i love you i don't know how to process all these feelings so because i don't know how to do that and i'm not used to that I'm gonna take a step back or I'm gonna just do I'm gonna just be quiet on like how I feel even though deep down inside I feel the exact same way or I want to say the same thing to you so that that's something to be mindful of is that sometimes triggering people doesn't come from like you doing something terrible to a person it could literally you showing up and being there for that person and then that's what shows them like hey you haven't healed from this because you don't know how to receive this love just yet so it's going to trigger you but you need to work through it so that's what i'm picking up with that that energy as well too that's pretty much the, the the dominant energy that i pick up but there is a few of you where there are a few of you that um you know may have done something that was small that triggered that person and you know think about like okay how do i move forward and not trigger people in that way like sometimes people might say like oh i'm not gonna test this person back because they did x y and z and it's like is that the, the strategic thing to do or is it like are you doing it out of pettiness or are you doing it because it's something to that it's going to better the situation or it's going to help you all grow or help the situation be, be better or protect your peace or whatever it is like choosing to do things because it is helpful versus to choosing to do things because it's petty right so that's something to think about as well 
Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much once again for tuning in. Feel free to leave a comment below, like the video, and check out other videos on my channel. And I wish you all the best. Bye.